Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. Today we're looking at Go For Broke, the game of Spend a Million. This is from 1965 by Schleckow and Writer Company. Uh, I had never heard of this game before I found this. And it should be complete, but let's open it up and see what we've got. So inside the lid is the rules. So you need the box to actually play this because it's pretty in-depth rule system. Uh, it says it's for the family, but I don't know if younger kids are going to be able to really grasp this. But it's for two to five players. And then we have the board, which is pretty well designed. It's got a real 60s look to it. You start here and you go around the board and eventually you either end up in the poor house or you win. So there's receive stack and a spend stack. You got your casino, you got your racetrack and your stock market. Now inside we've got our playing board. There's 54 spend cards which are these red ones and then there's 54 of the receive cards which are green. Then you've got your money We'll look at all this a little more closely here in a minute. You've got your pawns and tokens. And we'll look at those more closely. And then you've got your spinner wheel. So let me zoom in and we'll take a closer look at the contents of the actual board game. Okay, so to simulate the casino and the racetrack and stuff like that, we've got a roulette wheel, which is just a spinner, but it's got all the roulette numbers on it. Same with the stock market, it's got your extra dividends, your utilities up, oil down, steel up, utilities down, steel down and oil up. And then you've got your racetrack with one through four on it, one being the longest, then purple for bl uh, number two, then red for number three, and green for number four, which are, um, looks like they're in size ascending, so the Blue's the largest, purple's the second largest, red is slightly larger than green. And it's just a spinner. And the slot machine, you got your lemon, your cherry, your orange, your grape, and a bell, and then a little go for broke symbol. So, this is very important to the gameplay. So if you don't have these, you're going to have to come up with a way to replicate these, either through numericals on a dice, or by recreating them with other spinners. The hardest one's going to be your roulette wheel, but it could be done conceivably. So be aware of that, that you need to make sure these are all here and accounted for and in working order before picking this up used. Now next we've got our pieces here. We've got our markers, which are the usual red, blue, yellow, black and green. I'm missing the green uh, marker. These are easy to replace though. They're pretty standard fare. And then there's a little wooden token for each color. There's also 2D6. I'm not sure if it matters whether or not they're different colors, but that's what I've got in this one and they are pretty old so I'm assuming that they're the originals. Alright, then we've got our cards and our money. Let's take a look at the money first. As usual, it's got proprietary imagery on them, so you'll want to try and uh, be aware of that if you're a collector and you're looking to collect these board games, uh, that they do have unique images. And it's not said how many you get of each one, but it's a pretty fair amount, especially for the thousands, which are blue here. As you can see, it's got the guy on it. It says play money of course and then there's a five there's a 1000 increment a 5000 increment so the 1000 is blue the 5000 is gold the 10000 is green I know it's kinda hard to tell what the lighting I've got so that's why I'm telling you the color and then you've got a 50000 which is pink and it's a clearly a smaller stack the, the most of them that you get are the blue 1000s 
and then the fifty thousands, then the ten thousands, or the five thousands rather, the ten thousands, then the fifty thousand, and the hundred thousand is your smallest stack, and that is a light yellow. So, with five different colors of money, it's easy for a lot of these to get lost, but as long as you have enough to play with, uh, I'm sure you could get more of them somewhere. So, from other games that aren't complete or whatever. So let's get these out of the way, and we'll look at the cards. So we've got the green cards, and what they call red looks more orange on mine, probably due to fading over time. Now there's 54 of each of the cards. I counted the cards and I am missing a couple of the red ones which actually look more orange but these should all be here and unless I miscounted I might have all these but I just didn't count them correctly but I'm not rechecking that so some of these have a little art on them like this one's go to the poorhouse then you've got receive a thousand mr. bucks things like that there there's duplicates of course there's a duplicate right there a third one of that. Another go to the poor house. Receive two thousand dollars. A second one of that. Then a stock. General eccentric utilities for free. Another stock. And these all are like victory conditions for the game. The more stocks you have, the more your points at the end. really big steel corporation that's funny another really big steel third one dry gulch oil received two thousand dollars again another two thousand another two thousand another two thousand a three thousand dollar another three thousand General Eccentric, $3,000, $3,000, go to the poor house, General Eccentric, dry gulch oil, receive a thousand, receive a thousand, receive a thousand, receive three thousand, receive three thousand. Go to the poor house, another poor house, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. Go to poor house, go to poor house, poor house, poor house, poor house, 1,000. Go to poor house, uh, someone likes you, receive $1,000. Another one thousand. Another one thousand. Receive one thousand. One thousand. Someone likes you. One thousand. Same thing. Another one. And lastly, go to the poorhouse. So there's a lot of repetitiveness to these. And because of their size, people didn't put these in sleeves or anything that really didn't exist when this game came out. So you're going to want to make sure that not only are all the cards there, but they're in decent shape. These were high construction cards at the time, so the fact that they would tear is usually from shuffling. It wasn't usually from abuse. So let's take a look at our other deck and see what we've got. The fact that there is a lot of repetition is actually good because that way if you're missing one or two, it's not a huge problem for the game. So let's see what we've got with our so-called red but really orange cards. We've got go to the racetrack. Buy the Golden Gate Bridge for 180 grand. That's a heck of a deal. And we've got some stocks, dry gulch. Uh, that's you can buy it for a hundred thousand apparently. And go to the racetrack. General eccentric utilities, a hundred thousand. Give five thousand to someone you like, a player. Not just some random person walking by. Go to casino. Go to the stock market. 
Another go to the stock market. Uh, General Eccentric Utilities, 100,000. Go to the stock market. Dry Gulch Oil Company, 100,000. Dry Gulch Oil Company, 100,000. General Eccentric Utilities, 100,000. Go to the racetrack. Go to the stock market. Dry Gulch Oil Company, 100,000. Go to the racetrack. Go to the casino. Go to the casino. Go to the racetrack. Go to the casino. Go to the casino. General Eccentric Utilities, 100,000. Uh, really Big Steel Corporation, 100,000 stock. Another of that same one. Go to the casino. Donate $50,000 to the Poorhouse Fund. Go to the casino. Casino. Buy South Sea Island, 150,000. Buy the Empire State Building, 100,000. Donate 50,000 to the Poorhouse. Buy the Eiffel Tower for 100,000. Another donate 50,000 to the Poorhouse. Go to the casino. Go to the stock market. Donate 100,000 uh, dollars. I'm sorry. Donate 180,000 dollars to the Wildlife Animal Farm. Buy an ocean liner for 50 grand. Really big steel corporation stock. 100,000. Go to the racetrack. Donate 50,000 to the Poorhouse Fund. 50,000 to the Poorhouse Fund again. The third one. Donate $170,000 to the pizza factory. Give five grand to someone you like. Another player. Go to the casino. A uh, really big steel corporation. $100,000 stock. Go to the casino. Go to the racetrack. Go to the racetrack. Really big steel corporation stock. Give $5,000 to somebody you like, player. So there's, again, a lot of really similar cards, duplicates that go through this. So it's not going to be a huge deal if a couple of them are missing. But if you're a completionist like I am, you're going to want that anyway. But the board is pretty nice quality. And it, it is pretty straightforward, simple game. But I think younger people are going to have probably a difficult time playing this. So, especially uh, really small kids, probably eight years old is probably the youngest I would try playing this with. But it's a pretty neat game. It's fairly rare, as far as I could tell, to actually find a complete copy of this. There's nothing pictured on the back of the box. But that is what is inside Go For Broke. It's a board game about spending money. From 1965, so vintage one to say the least. It looks like it might be kind of fun if you were into simple old time board games. Uh, if you have some friends that are normies and don't want to play like Zombie Side or something, this would be a good one for them. But that is what is inside. Thanks as always for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss future reviews. And we hope to see you on the next one.